<laughs> it feels like all the skin's peeling off my foot. Everybody. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, babe? I'm great. What you up to? I'm trying to get the shirt orders fulfilled. We're done. We just gotta mark them off and let everyone know that they're coming. Yeah, I know. Look at these. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All filled up. And then we got a stack of postcards. We got a stack of thank you cards for Patreon. Mm -hmm. We did run into a problem. What's the problem? The purple. The purple, sure. Yeah, so you want to take this for a quick titch and I'll show them what happened? Sure. Okay, you can you turn it off just to be careful with my outfit. <laughs> I am. So, we ordered the purple for the Patreon folk. Yes. Um, and what had happened was it came back with the, uh, we did keep it black ink, mm -hmm. but the proof we got was a lot lighter. Yeah. So we thought it wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. So we are trying to figure out what to do with that because we want to make sure everybody mm -hmm. gets a decent shirt because no, even. No, I just want to say. On the back here. On this camera. It looks a lot lighter. It looks a lot lighter. Ah, uh, probably because of the lighting. You're right. Yeah. In real life, it does not look light at all. It no. Looks, you can't even tell. No, like it's it's so dark. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to figure out uh, what to do because we know some of those orders go um, across the pond. Yes, they do. So, yeah. We want to make sure everyone gets what they want. <laughs> yes, we do. It was super nice today, though, um, to be able to sit down and get those orders done. I actually ran into a little bit of uh, snafu this morning. We still had that really bad weather. And they extended it until 10 o'clock and then 2 o'clock in the morning. So I ended up speaking with my... Woo! Everybody's only seen the top of my head. I ended up speaking with uh, my supervisor at school. And um, I was, you know, instructed to attempt, which what the goal was anyway, to go. So this morning I got up 5.30ish, um, something like that, which was very hard for me. Got outside around 6 o'clock feel like it took me so long to get down the stairs because it was literally, I mean, you left. It was literally like ice skating. Yeah. I don't know how you did it. I was so worried about you leaving. Oh, I'm a big girl. Yeah, I know, but you're a big girl with our little man. So anyway, I couldn't get out of the driveway. It took me forever to turn around. It was horrible. So after about a half an hour of trying to figure out my life, um, which I wish that... I wish I could have had that filmed. Yeah. I felt like Austin Powers in that scene where he's trying to turn around in the car. Yeah. So I ended up having to write uh, an email to my supervisor at my practicum site and uh, sadly let her know that I couldn't make it, but it was a safety issue at that point. So there, there was nothing I could do. Yeah. But it felt really good today, though, because I ended up getting an extra day off. And I was able to catch up on uh, some reading, um, just some more reading to stay ahead of the game. I like doing that. So that was kind of neat. And then once Carrie got home after I had spent probably about five hours, six hours or so reading, um, we finished all the shirt orders. So I felt like I put in a pretty, a, a good day's work, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know how they say, like, there was an old Office episode when um, Kathy Bates ended up coming on, and she ended up. Uh, I don't know. We're big. I'm big. I'm a big Office fan. I think Carrie um, likes it as an extension of me. I tolerate it. But when she came in as Joe, and and she said to Michael, "Do y'all feel like you put in a good day's work? Then you can go home." Sometimes they were there till like eight o'clock at night. I felt like after those five slash six hours, I mean, I had read so much, my eyeballs were popping out of my head. And then I just literally wrote out so many address, <laughs> addresses that my eyeballs definitely popped out. Carrie had to pop them back in. It was similar I to did. like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. So what are you doing right now then? Like how does it work? Because people have asked before, how do we let them know that their shirt orders are done? 
So, um, I used to be able to look them up by their name. Uh huh. And then click fulfill order. Like uh -huh. it would give me this option to fulfill it. But now when I look up their name, it only looks up the ones that have been fulfilled. Oh, so interesting. So I can't look up ones that haven't been. So now I'm looking them up by the order number. So basically, once you hit fulfill order mm -hmm. on anyone, it'll send them an email saying your shirt order has been fulfilled. fulfilled. Yes. Yes. So then that way, through this our website, we actually use GoDaddy and we pay for their store, uh -huh. which we're still not 100% satisfied with. Right. But at least we don't have to send out separate you know, emails saying, hey, your shirt order's been fulfilled. Right. You know, everything is, is all good to go. So, since it's been fulfilled, that means tomorrow, when I go to the post office, they will be shipped out. Yes, and now, with a USPS shipping, mm -hmm. we get tracking for everything. Yes. So that way, we'll know when something has arrived, where it is, mm -hmm. and, and all of that. Because it was a little bit hard in the beginning when they didn't have that. And we had to, you know, wait to track down, you know, people's shirts. Because sadly, it's the mail. Right. Things get lost in the mail. And even though we're not responsible for lost mail because we're just too small of a company, you still don't want to hurt, you know, the people who have paid your shirt or paid for your shirt, you know. Right. It's a horrible feeling when something's lost, especially yeah. for us because um, we do not order any extras. We don't. We have no room. Like no. every every shirt we get is an order. It is. You know? Yeah. So we do have that tracking number if you feel like you should have received your shirt or your package, yeah. you know, and it's been a while, we, we can look it up for you. Um, but typically we don't give you the tracking number so you can track it yourself. Sorry. No, that's, I wish that, that GoDaddy would do that though. Yeah. You know, I wish that we could enter that in somewhere and then they would send it, but mm -hmm. oh well. Maybe sometime soon though, they will offer it. So just while we're talking about this, one last thing. Mm -hmm. We did get the quote back from the people with the t-shirts. Still seems like they're going to be a little more expensive than we thought. So we're going to keep look mm -hmm. I'm at hats. hats. Um, still looks like they're going to be a little bit more expensive than we thought. So I'm going to read that the emails again and let you guys know. Because we've been receiving quite a few messages about hats. Had no idea that so many people wanted a hat. Like I'm pretty excited about it because I... You know, you guys, I love hats because I don't have to worry about pieces of my hair sticking up like they are right now. You see that? Yeah. Looks like a little shark fin way in the back. <laughs> so anyway, we will definitely get to that. And uh, just because we missed her the other day, little Rue Bear, little Rue Bear, will you say hi to everyone? Because we missed you in the vlog the other day. We didn't even show you. Look at the camera, sweetheart. Hi. There she is. Look at this widow snuggle bug. So, um, I do have another question. I didn't think I was going to have it, but I do have it now. What do you guys do to keep your cats off of the kitchen table? Um, at this point, we just make sure we wash our table every time we sit down. Mm -hmm. But there's just, we can't seem to get any of the cats off of it. Now, I know we have that window that they jump on the table and usually jump right to the window. But uh, when we had Kayla and Nicole over this weekend, I literally had to hold Rue Bear while I was eating, which, you know, helped me out. It's given me practice for when little man's here. But, uh, you know, when the cats jump up onto the table and we have people over and we're eating dinner, it's a little bit embarrassing for a second. So yeah. um, please put your tips uh, below. I definitely, definitely could use some tips to do that. So look at that. Yeah, I wanted some french fries. You craving them? Yeah. Face is really red today. Uh, I think my blood pressure's a little high. It does get high when we do orders, which is why we probably will only have maybe, maybe one more shirt, and then it's gonna be not until Little yeah. Man's a little bigger. I get really frustrated. Yeah. My, I lose my patience That's sometimes. okay. Sorry. I, I can't be the easiest person to work with, so. Sometimes you're not, but I can't be the easiest. <laughs> either, so. so Carrie's making fries while I make my special burgers. Burgers. Mm. Oh. We Brown will be eating them burgers. without a bun. Yeah. Less carbs. It'll offset uh, some of the fries there. Yeah. That'll be nice. You know, I forgot to mention that we did look into um, 
We still have to get back with the uh, guys from Flannelfly too. Yeah. To talk about doing some future stuff, but we'll see um, on that because we really do like the shirts that we get. Yes. Like they're they so really comfortable. Shirts, so. Not that flannel fly does not, but I just I love the shirts that we've been getting. So it's a really hard, uh, um, hard decision to make. You know what I mean? Flannel fly has nice quality shirts too. Yeah, they're and they're different material. They're like a little. Uh, I can't think. They're more a little more stretchy. Maybe. Um, there's a difference in the three X's from the shirts that we get and from theirs though. Yeah. So it'll be a little different. So we'll have to go from there. But yeah, it's nice to have lots of options for everything. It is. Yeah. Sometimes not having too many options can be a... That's you know, true. Too. That's true. Hey, do we have any cottage cheese? Uh, I don't know. I feel like having some, or some fruit. <laughs> so dear. Why don't you tell me what you are doing? <laughs> Why don't I tell you what I am doing? Yes. Well, the past couple nights, you've been asking me to read you <laughs> a bedtime story so you can go to sleep. Your voice is really soothing. Well, that's fine, but I gotta find something to read because <laughs> I started to read to you about sloths again. Uh-huh. Oh, you did? Yeah, I don't think that you... You wanna do like Ready that. Player One? Yeah, I thought about it. What else do we have? I was thinking about doing the -secret Walking books. Dead psychology. Oh, that would definitely put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, all right. So let's take a page. The cost of killing. You did it. You managed to overcome human nature through training or sheer will to survive. I don't think this is a bedtime thing. Because <laughs> that's going to... Because the next you, one was you pull the trigger. It's going to give you thinking nightmares. about zombies. Yeah. So I guess maybe not the what zombie survival have? guide either. Hmm. Hmm. These are just my favorite books. Ooh, that's how my to survive prom. a Sharknado. That's my prom ticket there. It's a bookmark. It is? That's yeah. kind of cute. At least it's not From going to 2003? waste. 2003? Yeah. So what are you going to read me tonight? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think, I think I'm going to go with How to Survive a Sharknado. Um, yeah, I think that'll no, be the best one. I, I don't want to hear that one either. Why? You could read me the Harry Potter books. No. If you wanted. I'll read you book five. We'll both go to sleep. <laughs> Ain't <laughs> that the truth in the, within the first page. I know, and I love It's such a good, like adaptation to screen but mm -hmm. man that book the biggest book so much to get through so much dialogue and there just wasn't a lot of interesting things in it i don't know all right give me a minute let me look okay okay <laughs> it's not funny <laughs> oh, i'm so sorry it's not funny <laughs> i know no oh my God. Ah! Jeez! It feels like all the skin's peeling off my foot. <laughs> Do you want to tell them what's going on? Nothing. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so what happened was... I got done picking out the book, yeah, which is Ready Player One, yeah. and I went to sit down, and someone moved the table. <laughs> yes, they did, because look. No. Yeah, that is not in the same spot <laughs> where it normally goes. There's way too much carpet over there. This table has not been moved today. So when I sat down, I kicked it with my foot <laughs> and ripped the skin off of four toes. No. And my foot is swollen now, and it looks like... It looks horrible. I feel like my foot's gonna fall off. No, that's not exactly how it went. Uh, look at it. What did you do between? Look at my look at my foot. Look how big it is. That is a giant foot. Now, for being an overweight person, I normally don't have giant feet. So, you okay? Listen, I may have come back a little upset. I may have come back a little upset to the table. I may have, I may have lost my temper a bit. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, that com- that came out wrong. I didn't lose my temper. I was in a tiny bit of a foul mood. Some time has passed <laughs> since the book pa- the book picking out. I didn't realize where I was, and I kicked the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm laughing. Are you just going to laugh through the whole vlog? I might. You're just shaking. I know. Do you know what this feels like, though? No, I don't. Have you ever, like... I mean, so when I reached my foot up, not only did it scrape the basket down here, if you want to show them, the basket where we keep our goodies, yeah, our, our electronic goodies, it scraped the top of the <laughs> thing, and then this one up here. So I had a scrape, a little bit of a smooth part, and then a, a knock. I'm probably not even gonna be able to walk tomorrow. Is what's gonna happen? You're gonna be able to walk just fine. You don't know. <laughs> yes, I do. I appreciate you laughing at my expense. I'm sorry. I was in such a foul mood earlier <laughs> because I lost my patience with you when we were doing the shirt. <laughs> How did you lose? Okay, let me see. That, that put me in a great mood. Just wait. No, actually. So, I'm in the mode where we're signing postcards. Yeah. So, I sign, Carrie signs, we're making a little, you know, thing out of it. And she tells me that there's a postcard to be written out to someone. I think it was Sheena. Okay. So, I'm like, Sheena. And I went, Tiff, Carrie. Real quick. And then we realized it was a postcard. So, it was supposed to be sent to her. Mm-hmm. So I was supposed to leave room on the side, write down her address, mm-hmm. leave room for the stamp, all of that. Yeah. So Carrie kind of got really upset with me when I was like, look, I think I can just put a little <laughs> box here and put her address in. Where are you going to put the stamp? There was not enough room. I could have fit it. Sheena, when you get your postcard, you tell me if it would have fit. It's not my fault we have stamps that are the size of an actual bird. I don't know why they make stamps so big sometimes. It was a normal size stamp. That stamp is huge. That stamp is normal size. A normal size book of stamps is like that big. These, This book we have is like that. It doesn't matter how big the book is. Yeah, the stamps are two to a side. I'm not going to argue with you over this. That's my perception of the giant bird stamps. And I'm going to stick with it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> Still hurts. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Anyway, no. though, at least we got all that stuff done. We I didn't. mean, you can be upset all you want with me. Actually, I'm no, not, you can't. I'm not upset anymore. Good. Your face is red again, though. Mm. Is that from all the laughing? I'm sure it is. <sighs> I can't even bend my toe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, man. Man. This reminds me of... I don't remember what apartment I was at, but I was up in Midland at school... And I had this dream that I sprained my ankle. Mm-hmm. And I came running down the stairs because I was a lot more spry back then. And I was like, running down the stairs, totally fine. Got my jacket on, walked outside, stepped down one step to get to the car, stepped down two steps, sidestepped. Ankle went pop, fell on the ground. Kids saw me. I just laid there for a minute like, <laughs> oh my God, I did it. I had a dream and I did it. My dream came true. And then I also had to drive my friend Josh's truck to work, Uh and he had a stick. (laughs) Do you know how hard it was? I mean, I didn't even know what to do with myself. It was horrible, because I had to go. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, man. I get really paranoid about my legs and stuff, because I would be like, you know, poor Nicole. She breaks her, like, leg, Uh and it's all, like, dangling and stuff. Like, I would just be, I don't even know what I would do if that happened to me. If and you I broke your leg? Yeah. You I know, don't know so what I would I'm do. Being really careful about my old feetsies. I'm just trying to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Because I've got an attitude <laughs> problem today. <laughs> okay, so why don't you, I know that tomorrow is um, the baby update, but... Are you going to tell them what happened last night with the stethoscope? Yes, I will. (laughs) 
Okay. The baby updates in two days, though. Oh, crap, it is. That's when I do it, and then it's released. Today. Oh, so it's Thursday, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> last night... What were we doing? Well, I had read on oh. the vlog that someone told me that you can put your ear up to the belly uh -huh. and you might be able to hear the baby. Okay. So when I Is got it. Is that why you were doing that? Yeah, because I was like, Is that true? I don't know. So yeah. Tiffany put her head on my belly and tried to listen for little man. <laughs> and she's like, I don't I don't know if I can hear anything. Do you have a stethoscope? And I actually do. <laughs> blood pressure cuff and um, a stethoscope to practice blood pressures for when I had my internship last year. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think I ever practiced, but... I met it when I had fun with it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. At least someone's got some use out of it. Yeah, you're welcome. So, and I had just moved into the bedroom right next to the bed, so I pulled it out and Tiffany got the stethoscope out and she had it on top of my belly, like up here. Mm-hmm. But I was feeling the little man move, like, lower. So I moved the stethoscope down. 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 And he was kicking at the same time that she had the stethoscope on there. So I was like, Tiffany, do you hear his movements right now? And she's like, yes, I think so. I think so. I got to get this off before I cry. <laughs> yeah, but what was happening, though, was I couldn't. Those stethoscopes, I didn't know they went that far into your ears. Like, man, they Those really go in. aren't very comfortable because it's not... Like, not like a real... Yeah, I just got a cheapo one to practice with. Okay. Yeah. The, like, stethoscopes that are $100 or more mm -hmm. for just a stethoscope... Those are, are more comfortable in your ears. So are those the actual ones that doctors use? They're $100? I mean, I imagine those to be like $500 or something. Uh, it depends on which ones you get. There's like different sound levels. Okay. When I was looking them up. Cause, and there's pediatric ones. Oh. And things like that. So. Because. It just depends on the brand and, and the quality. Well, like the part that was going to my ear, mm -hmm. you know, when you spread it, it felt like it was like this. And they oh, could touch. Yeah. Yeah, like I felt like they were going so far into my ear. Uh huh. Like it was almost as if I was at the doctor and he was like checking out my eardrum. I was like, man, okay. Oh, yeah. You have sensitive ears to begin with. I do. I do. But <clears throat> I felt like I could he it, like hear bubbles, if anything. Okay. Like, yeah. but then it felt because I was listening and I had my hand there. So it felt like a movement. Yeah. But I didn't know for sure. It was, yeah. Right, and of course... We talked about that afterwards, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Once I found out, I was... So you got to feel a little man move again, and she got to hear him move. And I lost four toes. <laughs> it's been a good day. I laughed really hard about that. That's okay. Yeah. Laughter is good. It is good. <clears throat> oh, little Rue! Little Ruthie. Did you hear? I did. Did you call her little Ruthie? Ruzy. Ruzy. Yeah, little Ruzy. Um, Nicole calls her Ruby Q. Ruby Q? Yeah. That's cute. I love it. Yeah. She's like, Ruby Q? Hmm. Little Ruby? Ruby Q? Well, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and head out for the night. Yes. It's a little bit shorter than normal again, but pretty tired. Yeah, we did a lot today. You know, I worked and we did the t-shirts. Yeah. We just were really busy, so. Yeah, but we're yeah. really happy that we got those shirt orders out. Yeah. Because we just placed the order about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Not even that. Yeah, it would have been two weeks today. Yeah. Yeah, so that means that was a really good turnaround this time for us. Yes. And we got all the Patreon stuff sent out, so everybody look for that, except for the people who ordered the purple shirts. We'll figure all that out um, and let you guys know. Uh, what what is going on with that? Okay, so I guess that's it. Okay. Oh, you like me again? Yeah, I do. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we will catch you on the flippity.